My, 22M, girlfriend, 21F, of 6 months cheated on me. She claims not to know what she did wrong. I find the whole thing very WDF. I don't know that I have a specific question here. I guess I just want to vent and see if anyone else has experienced anything similar and might have any advice. I'm somewhat confused right now. This past Friday my GF and I went to a party at a mutual friend's house. Small gathering, maybe 20 or so people there. We planned to drink and spend the night there. GF invited two friends from her work, a guy around her age, we'll call him Frank, and a girl who's a bit older. I've met Frank before at other gatherings, and him and GF seem to get along really well, like old friends or siblings, or new lovers, despite that they just met maybe two or three months ago. This bugs me just a little, but I haven't communicated it to GF because I feel it shouldn't bug me, since I have, well, had, no reason not to trust her. I have a few friends of the opposite romance with whom I am very close, so it would be hypocritical of me to tell GF she can't have the same. The way I see it, saw it, it's my insecurity and I need to deal with it, not burden other people by tasking them to conform to my neuroses. At some point during the night, GF stood a few feet away from the fridge and said to me, Gary, get me another beer. Myself, all the way on the other side of the room, said, get it yourself, you are right next to the fridge. With obvious sarcasm she replies, if you don't get me a beer we're breaking up. Again with obvious sarcasm, I say, well, I guess we're breaking up then, have a nice life, etc. After most people had left I decided to head upstairs and clock out. GF says she's gonna stay up for a bit. The only other people still present and awake were Frank and two other people, who seemed to be in the process of leaving when I went upstairs. The next morning when I woke up GF was in bed beside me. We took a taxi back to her place, where she got ready for work and I made the short walk back to my flat, no work on Saturdays for myself. After her shift was done that evening she came to my place. As soon as she got there she said to me, in a cheery, seemingly ironic tone, I think we should get back together. I asked WTF she was going on about. She explained, in the same ironic tone, how we broke up last night. Oh, I see, an extension of the same joke. Of course, yes, we should get back together. She then said, in a serious tone now, that she had something she wanted to tell me. While we were broken up she had romance with Frank. Obviously I was like WTF, are you being serious, is this still joking, etc. Nope, she wasn't joking. She was trying to tell me that we were actually broken up, it wasn't a joke, and during that time she ducked Frank. Obviously I was dumbfounded. I could sort of tell she herself didn't really believe much of what she was saying, she's not quite 100% crazy, after all, but was just trying to gloss over things to make them more morally palatable. Thinking back, it seems likely she was in denial about it herself. She felt bad, wanted to make up a story, any story, that wouldn't make her seem like such a bad person. But still though. Even accounting for self-delusion, who in their right mind would ever expect anyone to buy such an excuse. It reminds me of when I was in third grade and felt bad about telling a lie so I went into the washroom and whispered just kidding, thinking it would make the bad feelings go away, it didn't. But she's not in third grade, so like WDF. So I sorta of freaked out. She eventually admitted that what she did was wrong but that it still wasn't cheating because we were broken up, and actually I should be thankful she was nice enough to tell me. I yelled some poop about how she couldn't possibly believe that, she yelled back something about minding my own business then stomped out the door. After that I texted her not to come around anymore, that it's over. And I feel like it's over. Maybe I could forgive her if she got silly and fooled around with some guy, but to make up such a silly, Petty, childish lie? Really? TBH it wasn't too great of a relationship either. Been going downhill for a few weeks now. Good riddance, I guess. She's texted back since that she's sorry, that she wants to talk, and she's called a couple of times, but I haven't responded, and don't plan on it unless it's to tell her not to call again. Anyways, I just wanted to get that out of me. I have friends I can talk to but somehow this seems really embarrassing just being associated with that sort of behavior. I don't know. Right now I'm more angry than anything. Thoughts on this? 
Is it as crazy as it seems to me? Anyone ever experienced anything like this? TL, doctor, girlfriend made a joke about breaking up with me, then ducked some other guy, then claimed it wasn't cheating because we were broken up. Hi guys, I promise to love you if you like, comment, and subscribe. Holy poop that is crazy. So outlandish it is verging on comedy. If you are a guy who can tell a joke you would get a lot of mileage out of this story. Do you think it was premeditated? As in she concocted this temporary breakup plan so that she could sleep with him? Whatever her thought process this is one person you don't need messing with your emotions. I absolutely believe this to be the case. Like she had decided to do it that night already but you didn't give her an in until this moment so she had to force it. What the freak did I just read bro? Welcome back to the normal world. I'm glad you came back safe. Mate, your girlfriend is an utter. It doesn't matter if you were broken up or not because even if you were, it took her minutes to bone another dude. In the same building. Then got into bed with you. Don't allow people like this into your life. Put on your shiny red sonic boots and run away as fast as you can. Me, 36M, found wife 36F, of 4.5 years, with a dude in the closet. I had to pick up something at the post office today, so I decided to swing home after for lunch. Saw my wife's car in the driveway sometimes she works from home. I went inside, but I found the safety chain was in place. Very odd. While I was messing with the chain, I saw a man dart back down the hallway. Eventually my wife comes and opens the chain, and clearly doesn't think I have seen the guy. I walk to the bedroom and find him in the closet. He says sorry a couple of times. I sent him on his way. She claims that they never engaged in any physical activity, but they had an emotional connection. She says they were both at home for lunch and to go for a jog, they were in running clothes. Well, okay, if it was purely innocent why did this guy hide and why was the door chained? I am not a suspicious guy. Frankly, if he had introduced himself as my wife's running partner from work, I would have 100% trusted her. My wife says it is because they were afraid of me. Not physically, I have never touched her, but that I might yell at them. Uh. What? Frankly, this seems like BS to me. Whether they have ducked, were gonna duck, or were planning to duck at some point, I caught her on the continuum. No man spends time hiding for a woman he isn't sleeping with and no one locks the door because they were afraid I might yell at them over something if what they were up to was okay. She says that she has been unhappy for a year. This is true, she says this constantly. She regularly tells me how I don't measure up in every possible way. She has me going to a psychiatrist because she insists I am always angry. At this point, it really underscore looks underscore like a plan to get me to leave so she could get off scot-free in the relationship and pursue her new BF without guilt. I said I wanted a divorce immediately. She said she wants to talk further, but frankly I do not know why. I took the things of mine that were of value, that I could fit in a backpack and left. Complicating factor, we have two little boys, 17 meters and 3. I am willing to make Herculean sacrifices for them. The only reason I would consider reconciliation would be for their benefit, but seems like a lost cause. Am I wrong? I hope I am. Until 4 hours ago, she meant the world to me. <laughs> cheating. Absolutely cheating. Ask to see her email slash social media x to see how evasive she is, although by now, if she has a lick of sense, she's dumped her page history. Me, 23F, with my boyfriend, 30M, of 2 years. I just found evidence that shows he's been cheating on me. He doesn't know and isn't home yet, I don't know how to handle this. This morning while in bed with my boyfriend I saw him texting someone on WhatsApp. I didn't see the wall of text he had sent but saw the gist of it was if you don't want me here then duck you I can move on. That automatically made me suspicious, so a few hours ago after I got home from work I decided I needed to snoop. I never normally do this but I know if I didn't I would always question it. Well, fast forward about 30 minutes and I find his OkCupid okay account and plenty of messages of him talking to women. There is one particular girl where they went to great length to talk about their phone romance and how they love all the naked photos they have been sharing and different dirty messages they have written to each other. I checked and there were no photos so I then logged onto both of his emails where I found the most damning evidence, a video of him jerking off. 
The email he sent it to was the same girl on the OkCupid okay account, and I know it was his noodle in that video. Then that is when I start to slightly freak out. Right now my two best friends know but I am still unsure what to do right now. We live together, with roommates, with our dog and have been together for two years. I don't know what I'm going to say or do when he gets home in a little over an hour and I can use as much advice on possible for this. I've been cheated on once before but it was a long distance relationship so it was easy to sever. This time, I feel lost. TL, doctor, found the noodle video in dirty messages he's been sending to a girl and I don't know how to handle it from here. Update. Since my roommate was home in his room I felt comfortable enough to just put some of his clothes in his backpack, have his computer up showing examples, and the I waited for him to come home. When he came home it took him a minute or two to see what was waiting on the couch for him. Basically he saw it, was speechless, and then I told him to leave. At first he said I was just flirting but I wasn't having it, I told him to leave and I would text him when I ready to talk about our living arrangements and what we will do with our dog. He simply agreed, talked to our roommate, they are business partners, and left. I'd where he is going but I don't care. I know most of you told me to pack up, but after thinking about it there is no way I would give him the courtesy of staying in this house right now. If my roommate wasn't home I'd probably think differently, but he made me feel safer about my decision. I'm just happy I was a stone cold fox and didn't burst into tears, I guess anger does that to people. Thanks guys. Personally, I'd pack my things and go stay with my parents until I could find alternate living arrangements. You can find a sublesser for your current room. Staying with him definitely wouldn't be an option for me. You don't need to collect evidence or hold it over him. There is absolutely no point in that, because leaving him shouldn't be a negotiation. You don't need to lay out proof and evidence to leave him, just leave him.